today I wanted to show off some more hero games. I procrastinated this for a while and uh, I had a lot of fun playing with this format and playing games with uh, some of the viewers and King Chummy and some of the other people hanging around in the Discord. So I wanted to show a few more games and uh, just uh, go over the format again in case uh, we can drum up some more players and get some more games rolling. Uh, so what hero format is, you have a 100 card deck with no duplicates. Uh, the exceptions are you can have as many power cards as you want. Uh, so, you know, four Silexes, same as the usual deck. And you can have as many market access cards as you want. So think etchings, uh, you know, Fearless Crescendo, and etc. Um, also, we have a, a hero that'll be in your market. And other than that, your market can only be power and bargain cards. So you'll pick your hero, and let's say it's Roland's Iron Tyrant. You can only have Justice and Shadow cards in your deck. Or if it was, um, you know, any of the others, it, it can only be that faction. Uh, we did decide that you can use the From set as heroes, but you can only be, for example, if you use From um, the one with Maeve, you can only be a Combri deck. So, just keep that in mind, um, that we have that restriction in place. And then the rest of your market can be any sort of power card or anything that transforms. So, it can be like any bargain or any power that transforms into something else is fine, or any regular power, and then your hero. So, the idea is to make it really easy to access your market, but we don't want people like comboing off with their market in this format. It's more just so you can get to your hero super easily using uh, market guys and then play it. And hopefully we can make it so, you know, even even if your hero gets turned to seated or something or whatever, hopefully you can at least see your hero once throughout the game. So we thought that would be more interesting. In a perfect world, we'd have access to a command zone like magic and you'd be able to cast your commander over and over again. But uh, this is the best we can do with what we have, so that's where we're at, and that's why that's going on. Uh, as for market hate, most of it's very <laughs> restricted. Uh, like I said, we just want people to be able to play their hero, so... Damara, ba Bam, and uh, Incendiary Slagmite, and any future, like, market hate cards... Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna crack down on these, because we just want people to be able to play their hero. Um, so... For these guys, you can still play them, but you're just not allowed to target the enemy hero, so... <laughs> uh, so if you want to target their lands with these, you know, if, like, for example, you're playing a Yeti deck and you just need every Yeti possible, it's okay to play Bam, but if you target the hero, you just, you know, you, you concede the game. <laughs> so, keep that in mind. Uh, for banned cards, Pony Snatcher, there's no way to stop this from hitting the hero, so we just decided to ban it. And Wasteland Broker just kind of goes against the idea of the format, so we cut Broker as well. So, that's kind of the brief overview of the format. So this is my Vodacon deck. Uh, had some uh, interesting games with this. It's one of the better decks I built, and also the original deck I built for the format. Um, so I didn't really... Uh, I didn't really think too far outside the box for this deck. I just went all in on Ramp and playing really powerful top-end payoffs. Uh, I didn't really tune this too much, but uh, it just kind of works. So, I found this is one of my more competitive lists, but uh, I don't play it as often just because it it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, it still can be interesting and you have some cool games, but uh, not my usual style. So, uh, let's just look at some what's going on here. Vodacon, Temple Speaker. Uh, plus attack and health equal to your max power, and your power cards have destiny. So, he's cool to grab early, and then if he sticks on the board, he's just going to start flipping power into play, which is awesome. Um, and you can also synergize quite well with some of our stuff. We've got lots of cards just, like, drawing power from our deck. Uh, just a lot of them. So, like, Talir's favored. Um, any of our Martians can actually grab power from the market and continue the chain. Uh, Marshall Ironthorn will double stuff, so plenty of ways to kind of uh, pop off with Vodacon. And if he just dies or gets silenced, that's fine too. Uh, the deck's fully functional without him, so he's just a cool little payoff and uh, one of the more obvious Combri commanders or heroes. So uh, that's what I went for with this. 
Uh, some big payoffs. We've got Martyr's Chains, Pit of Lenecta, and Grodov's Burden. And these are kind of the main ways you'll pull out games with this deck, but uh, we also have a lot of really good beaters, and we can uh, Talir combo if uh, it comes to that, but that's kind of hard to pull off, but it can happen. So that's my Vodacon list. I uh, played a few games with it against a Ren Relics list, which was pretty cool, and uh, Sun's Fury was piloting that, and uh, I uh, had some interesting games, so... My Voda hero. I haven't played Voda in a minute. Oh, you're playing Shardbinder? Was I playing Shardbinder? This hand looks potato. But we'll keep it. Looks like you have main deck Breeze Dancer. That's kind of neat. This Alorian Kirin is going to give us actual zero power. I mean, I like Shardbinder, but all of our relics are in the market. Being a little greedy here, chat, but, you know, that's how we do it sometimes. So let's see, you've got four brokers, four merchants. I see. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to attack with this now. Play voice of the speaker? Oh. This is insane. <laughs> Ravid. I'll just hang on to the familiar. We can attack with our twelve twelve though. I like your list a lot. Looks like you're not playing Helio, you just have her in the market. Which is probably smart, because you can just broker Helio. I like I like a lot of what you have going on. When I originally built the list, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh... Guess I just play banner. I'm gonna make a lot of zero one birds. Ooh. Guess I just play. <laughs> And Storm Titan. I 
I can't A space. Yeah, Echo, it's super fun. My favorite is when you just randomly rip Destiny. It was like win a game you had no business winning. Man, Mystic Ascendant's a fun card. Let me tell you. Who's our general? Vodacon? We can draw our whole deck here. Probably. Yeah, Echo, I play that in Thrones sometimes. It's real fun. There goes my deck. Straight into the void. Goodbye. I'll miss you, cards. Maybe I can deck myself. This and other things I shouldn't be saying. I have to discard now. I'm gonna try and deck myself. <laughs> I've got too many cards in my hand. It's making it hard to deck myself. I need to get some of the shit off the board. Oh, I've had lethal. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to deck myself.
exist in the old ways. All right, so we're going to need that guy back. We're going to deck ourselves properly. Might be out of power though, so it's gonna make it really hard for me to do the full decking. Uh, maybe I should have kept the market guy because he gets power. What's in my void? Oh, I can grab Talir. That should... That should get it popping. Oh, wait. I need four power for this? Oh, it's a... I see. Click over for Talir. Grab Talir. This should help me deck myself. And we'll also play Marshall here. There we go. Now we're getting this rolling. Might run out of power in my deck, though. Hopefully this is enough to just clear my whole deck. Come on. No! I ran out of... Uh... Ooh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. Now we can deck ourselves for sure. Yes. <laughs> That's one of the uh, secret win conditions in Commander. I'll, I'll show you after. But I do have a, uh, I do have a fog deck that tries to play, or not a fog deck, a world pyre deck that tries to world pyre out a new tomorrow. It's pretty good. Anyway, uh, cheeseburger, welcome. I didn't acknowledge your presence, but I appreciate you being here. We'll just keep this. Needles, the infinite turn. Did you send me that in-game? I don't think I have it saved off. Uh, I mean, I wasn't trying to Svetya it. It's just kind of like one of those... Svetya is super good in World Pyre, though, I found. I'm going to probably brew with her more. But, uh... I was more going for... Oh, snap. Loco Pojo coming in. It's just really cool to... It's really cool to uh, New Tomorrow and just like the top 10 cards of your deck are all just going to be like... You just thin out all the power, so you just draw like straight fire. Hey, thanks for the raid. We're playing uh, Hero right now. 
Just doing some viewer battles. If you haven't checked out Hero yet, now might be a good time to see what we're up to. Uh, I guess I don't really need... I don't know what I need. I can't cast Vodacon if I do this. I could just... We can always go back into the market later. Actually, it's funny you say that, Cheese. Uh, another thing I've been experimenting with... Holy crap, I wish I had mods. Needs to get that idiot out of here. Um, let me purge this person. All right, they've been purged. What was I saying? Uh, whatever. That train of thought's gone. Welcome, viewers. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Hi, Delta. Loco, I hope you had a fantastic stream. Hey, it's Arkin Black. We're playing some hero. He's bringing the pain. Well, this derpy ramp deck is pretty strong. I could kill him here. I don't really want to. I don't remember. I was probably the one playing Macto, though, if it's anyone. <laughs> We're being honest. I'm always on a different brew arc, so if you just see some stupid shit going on, it's probably me. I am the only Roshi, though. Kind of like let him keep his stuff. Oh, that was a while ago. That was a long while ago. I remember now. I was going to lose that game, too. The draw was better for me. No! Vodacon! No! This flyer is about to kill him, and he goes for Vodacon. That jerk. I just like kill him out of the flyer now just because he has the audacity. I suppose. I can trigger this. No, I can't. Yeah, I'll do the thing. I guess this isn't lethal, it just puts him to one. Yeah, I think he's realized that I was going to try and deck myself again. And wanted me to not do it. Sure. 
sure. <laughs> MVP? This freaking 1-1? One -one? It was actually pretty bad at first, but then we ripped a, uh... I drew a power, and then I drew, like, a Talir's favored, and it just yeeted three power into play. It was kind of cool. I could blow up his stuff, but that's kind of anti-fun. Don't want to be anti-fun. I don't want to blow up his stuff. Let's do the funnest possible play. Ha! We'll save this. We won't use it. I feel like his deck's actually really good, but our deck, this is the first deck I built in the meta, just because I thought it would probably be one of the strongest possible options. And I just hadn't played it in a while, so it just felt like playing it, but it just gets out of hand really fast. We got a sea of teeth off of our... <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a big part of our chances of milling ourselves. <laughs> really? Justice Sigils are in play already? Uh. Yeah. Let's end is fun. That's how that works? It does say it does that in order. That's a little rude. We blew up some of our relics too. Uh, we'll do the big boy. Five. Ten. I'll let him keep all his fun stuff. And we'll just keep playing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. What a what character would Talute be in that? Would he be the big, derpy, like, Hercules guy? No! This seems fine. Um, so I gotta get Ixtal in play, obviously. I think we also go for Order of the Spire. And who's big? This guy. 
We wouldn't want to accidentally kill our opponent. Isn't that a good problem to have, though, Delta Fiend? I like turtles. Thanks for the follow, man. If you hop in the Discord, I usually try and idle in it and battle people at random hours when I'm supposed to be working. Yeah, it's not safe to attack with Cassava yet, so... I was hoping to weed their board down so I could do that. If I was being honest. It's a real shame our Sea of Teeths got wrecked, because they're so funny with Tolute. Oh, nice. Who's in here? Anything good? I could grab Pit. But uh, I think we just continue as is. There's a lead. L lead D's nuts. Uh so we'll attack with the homie. We're getting close to decking ourselves. Our Vodacons on the bottom of the deck. So that's a problem. I put anything good in here? No. <laughs> oh. What's that get him? <laughs> That's great. Ark, we uh so I put I put pit in my market earlier. We only are allowed to have bargain cards and power. Because like none of the transform power is like too overpowered. And we just didn't want people like playing infinite combos out of their market. Unless it was like literally their commander. None of the transform cards are too OP, but you can also use market stuff to like put things in the market early and then like grab them back later. So it's kind of neat. No! I've never been so disappointed. I'm gonna have to work really hard to deck myself this game. If I could turn back time. Why didn't my pit work? Pretty sure I have a pit of Lenecta in play. It didn't give me worms. Oh, I played a power stone. I'm dumb. Uh, it has to be a uniquely named unit. So you can't use like eager offering, but you could use Diana.
If you hop in the Discord, we have an infographic with all the rules. Chummy made like a badass like rule thing. Uh She's probably fine. I th I'd assume Bandit Queen is fine. So I lost my thing that gives me power, so I'm literally just doing this to thin 10 cards off my deck. We'll take that. So Grodov's Burden will probably be the easiest way for us to deck ourselves. If I had to pick. Oh, right, we've got Talir in our deck. I'll save her for next turn. Yeah, it does, Cheese. Pretty sure it does. I think we saw someone playing new shit. I know I'm not. I think the first deck I built was Voda, and then the next two decks I built were just straight, like, dumpster fire. I built a Nyctotraxian deck, and then I built a Mysterious Stranger deck. I think we're just going by the hero tag, honestly. If you chose to use some random minion that's like close enough, we probably wouldn't care. But if we ever had a tournament... Like, if we ever have a tournament, we'd be more likely to say, okay, just use a commander that has the hero tag. But we're just playing casually, so it doesn't fucking matter. But... Yeah. Uh, he has his pit now. Alright, Talir. Draw my whole deck, please. My commander is Doomblade. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Wrath of Kyphus. I don't mind if I do. I need to attack with my worst minion. Trigger Onslaught.
Probably did some of this out of order, but whatever. There it is. Yeah, go straight to the void. We don't want you, you're kind here. Aw. I think I'm out of power. So close. I thought we had it that turn. All of our shit's too big for him to kill with his killer guy. <laughs> There it is. That's that action. We get to play our commander, chat. Aha! Oh, straight to the void. <laughs> I guess we'll actually kill him this time. Now that was a freaking set. <laughs> 